So I went to my local Goodwill and I went and picked up this guy. Check it out. Obviously, the case looks a little dated. We've got some old stickers here. Diodarios, which is awesome. Strings I, I do enjoy. So the old swag is definitely cool. Uh, I mean, I've heard of Kruger, but uh, never heard of Gavin Kruger. But anyway, uh, case links that looks old. So, checking out what we got in here. I've already obviously figured it out, but I mean, I've done a few things to it so far, so the moment, put that back right there, it is a vintage, I would assume, I guess, uh, Arbor Stratocaster. Now, it has been modded by the original owner at least one time. So, with that, grabbing the pit guard out of here, uh, everything's still attached. I don't know what I'm going to fully do with this thing yet. I've got some ideas. I'm open to comments. Um, this thing's even got the little switch here for this, uh, this shower. I don't know if that's going to come up on here. There, kind of. The shower bridge pickup. Uh, everything in here is just kind of a mess from this guy. Uh, I did plug it in and, and try it out before I started doing anything with it and fundamentally the guitar worked. I mean I was able to at least tune up everything once I threw some strings on it every single time I had plugged the tuner in but when I would play with it there was just something here in this cheap cheap five-way that was throwing it off, or then even kind of playing with this a little bit would throw off the pick. So I think it was just kind of, however it was done here and uh, whatnot in the past just wasn't done either greatly or just gone to the wayside by now. Because, I mean, obviously whoever had this in the past uh, definitely kind of knew what they were doing. And, uh, you know, they Frankenstrat it with the Eddie Van Halen here, kind of throwing it in on sideways instead of just throwing it in straight. Uh, nothing else. I mean, so I got some still some old cream tone pickups. You can kind of see the age and wear on them still. Definitely faded out. Um, I don't know how great these single coil pickups are. Uh, Arbor was kind of Honer's Squire brand. I kind of, I, I kind of, I, you know, as, as Gibson is to Epiphone, Spender is to Squire. This was to, I guess, the Honer brand. But then a few lawsuits came in, and they, I guess, could not continue with their brand, um, and then sold it to one of the bigger music, you know, like catalog companies and whatnot, like a Music Man kind of a thing, or like a, um, there's the one that, that Guitar Center works through, I think Music Friend uh, catalogs. So, I do have some stuff in the mail coming, I've got my ideas, I'm open to some suggestions, uh, kind of pull the thing out here, I, uh, I'm going to work with this body I think still. Uh, I guess just aesthetically, I've never had a white guitar out of everything I've ever had. Uh, it is easy to kind of just check in here. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just layered press board. It's nothing fancy. It's nothing nice. You know, this bridge is, is junk. Uh, I do like this, like, lip thing. I don't seem to find that on really anything else I'm seeing or anything else kind of. I mean, I think it's kind of cool because, of course seems like so many guitars these days don't come with a trauma bar. And even you go to like Guitar Center and buy a brand new Strat, you know, professional American Strat, and then they want to dig you around and be like, oh, we don't have a we don't have a bar for it. You need to pay an extra, you know, 50 bucks from Fender. And it's just like, what the fuck? Um, so, you know, we got that in here. Everything's just kind of a mess from up here. 
So we actually have, you know, the Arbor. Uh, I've noticed anyone who's kind of mentioned it, and they're like, oh yeah, they just got a little guitar here for the logo, and like the like, guitar makes it actually an A for Arbor. There's just that little tiny teeny, just little separation right there making it an A. It took me a second to kind of notice it. It's one of those, I guess, hidden things. You just kind of see a triangle and a guitar. It's an A for Arbor. So, um, you know, that being said, you know, it's a cheap, it's a cheap knockoff Strat. It's definitely old when I do see at least, you know, the neck at least is part, you know, I mean, I've, the thing is I, I have taken it apart. There is not a serial number to be found on the neck. There's no serial number to be found in this body anywhere. Um, you know, whatever, I bought it from Goodwill, so I'm not really that worried about it. It is what it is. Uh, between this guitar and the case, you know, it was, you know, it was what? It's upside down here, but 50 bucks, 49.99. I figured, worst case scenario, if it worked great, which I guess it technically did, uh, but I mean, I mean, if I probably just sold the body and the neck alone when uh, just having a straight neck was a good enough find for for that. I mean, I, again, worst case scenario, maybe 10 bucks for a case, you know, 30, 40 bucks for that body, and, uh, you know, 40, 50 bucks, 75 bucks maybe even for the headstock, you know, the, the neck and headstock for... Uh, at least the fact that it's vintage and it's maple. So, I mean, you know, if nothing else, I mean, it doesn't matter what you throw that neck onto, that, that neck's going to be fine. Uh, it's just the body, which it's got good weight and tone to it, so I'm sure it's just fine. I think, honestly, I think a lot of people, and I'm going to just try to figure it out on this one, maybe I'll try more, maybe I'll try other things. I don't know, this is my first video, so uh, we'll see what goes on. But, um, yeah. We uh, can try to see what the sound will get from this, maybe versus an actual maple and maple uh, body if we can. I know Fender uses alder. Again, that was the point I was trying to make was I think a lot of people get hung up on the wood, and especially most of us players, I don't think we really know anything about lumber or the cost of it or the workmanship of it or any of that kind of stuff. Um, so I think the fact that we hold mahogany in such high regards is, well, because that's what Gibson uses. So if Gibson uses it and they're charging us this money, well, mahogany's got to be the, the best wood, right? I mean, I know it makes great furniture and it's a heavy wood, which it kind of hurt my back when I had an Explorer for many years and, uh, you know, things sounded great, but, you know, it it was, you know, 10 pounds heavier than anything else I had. So, uh, you know, it didn't necessarily make it any better. Um, yeah, that being said, do what I can with this guy. Cut this video down, because, uh, yeah, we'll probably do some editing on this, uh, hopefully, because I've kind of probably made it a little boring here. But it is the first video, so uh, if I even get views, it's what I'm going to do. Um, comment, like, or share, uh, yeah, see ya.